Welcome to the Backlash 2017 review. And we're gonna start with the kickoff show. The show itself started with the Dolph Ziggler vs Shinsuke Nakamura match, which actually was pretty good. Uh, Ziggler was as he should have been. Nakamura was competitive and strong and not really as dominant as I thought he could have been. But the ending was right, uh, he haven't won with the huge margin, he just barely won. So it was kind of an equal match. So the feud's probably gonna continue because I don't see where they can put Nakamura right now because US title is busy, WWE title is busy and there's really not really anyone, Sami Zayn is not really in his league, so probably Dolph Ziggler is gonna uh, feud with Nakamura more. But the problem was that I don't think this was a really good opening match because Nakamura was even in the in the screen in the, what was in the program. He was the main main face of the event, so starting with him and I thought it was kind of weird. They could have swapped some matches here and there. But let's move on to the next one. Then we again had the same segment as the last time on SmackDown with Brizango, which was strange. I mean, they could have maybe even in the same manner continue this one, maybe record something else. So that was, I don't know, probably for pay-per-view they could have make something new, something something more exciting than just showing off the same thing. But the match had the bigger problem than the promo, the video. I actually thought that it was the best match of the day, of the night. Uh, the fact that Tyler Breeze changed appearances and was drop kicking as a grandmother was fun. And Fandango was great and in the ring. Usos actually delivered more than I thought they will. But Brizanga lost and this really moves into the unknown territory for me because I don't I thought that Brizanga is the best thing on the SmackDown right now, so they should win. They should move forward. Maybe they if they will uh feud with Usos it doesn't matter, but they will feud as champions so they will be dominant and they'll be the best thing. But now they lost, and after such push, after uh, when everyone was behind them, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna be around? Will they split up? Hopefully not, but who knows what's gonna be on the WWE mind. Um, it was strange, so, and Usos are not really there as champions, they... I don't remember when the last time they had even match on SmackDown. They were just cutting promos after Brizanka match. So, but they won now. So they kind of legitimate champions. And what's gonna happen with Brizango? Yeah, many questions. And I thought it was a wrong decision to not let them win because they are the top faces of the of top entertainers for sure in SmackDown right now. And this match proved it again. So why not just give them the title and enjoy themselves and push in them even more, elevate them even to higher and then split them up. But we're not getting any of that so far. Then Sami Zayn won clean against Baron Corbin. So why this was, as I said, I thought this you could start with this match because it made no sense beforehand. It didn't make sense, especially the end to it. I mean... Sami Zayn lost to Mahal, he won against Miz, Corbin's supposed to be pushed somewhere, remade, suspended, what, 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 why, what, <laughs> I think half, half of the card was absolutely nonsensical to be honest, uh, much was okay, not really rememberable, not really anything and made no sense and made no story of sense why sense why why sense so just because well, what do you what do you can 
what you can make from them even anything else i don't i don't see it and then welcoming committee one clean by submission against becky lynch current champion naomi and charlotte one of the best women wrestlers of past years Carmella, Natalie, and Tamina won. Without really interfering in any way in the last... Because N N Natalia just submitted Becky Lynch. What, what, the, the, the worst po part of it is that that means that this feud will continue. Which means that we're gonna have six good wrestler superstars tied into one feud. And it's not really leading anywhere because what there wasn't any point before even pay per view for this match, but now because obviously this shit's gonna continue for some time. What at some till SummerSlam? Oh my! Really? So not even single competition for champ for title and. Still SummerSlam, they're gonna push this stuff. Wow. Then Kevin Owens won against AJ Styles and he won by countout, which probably was the greatest idea they had in this pay-per-view. Because Kevin Owens is actually dominant and I like him as a champion. He won against Chris Jericho, now he won against AJ Styles. He's building this up. AJ Styles gonna continue to feud against Kevin Owens this is good because I thought they wouldn't push AJ Styles as a champion right now because it's not really established and Kevin Owens is kind of a good champion right now so this is the great decision I think and how he won and the match itself and from top ropes just pushing on the tables come into tables I thought it was a great match I thought it was a great en ending and just two superstars doing what they should do. Just a pay-per-view style, pay-per-view worth match. Uh, we shouldn't really celebrate this stuff. This is this should be every match on the pay-per-view. This kind of match, you know. But we're just celebrating anything we get pay-per-view worth. Which is weird. It shouldn't really happen. But let's, let's move on to the... I mean... You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Then Harper won versus Rowan. And why this m match was before main event? God knows why. It has no story. It had no build up. The match itself was boring. And not pay per view worth. Simple as that. Just wasn't anything for it to be there. Put it on SmackDown, put it on, I don't know, cassette tape, send it around. I, I just don't know what to say about it, honestly. Harper won, this will give him nothing, and because nobody cares. Harper deserves more, Rowan probably deserves something, maybe Sami Zayn, Corbin, just whatever. But this Wyatt family stuff is just... So up my ass, I can't believe I fucking see it again in May 2017. Let's move on to the main event, the most controversial main event of the past few thousand years. Yeah, Jinder Mahal won, you know that. But uh, it all started actually pretty pretty good because I thought... I actually liked Randy Orton, not as a champion, but as a superstar, as a performer in the ring right, in this match. Because I didn't like Orton as a champion, but... That's a whole other story. Uh, will I like Mahal? That's not gonna likely happen. Uh, I see where... I mean, Orton wasn't good, as I said, for the fifth time in the last minute. Champions, so probably tra transferring title to someone else would be a good idea, but why to Mahal? Why you wouldn't transfer it to, let's say, AJ Styles before that? You can compete... Kevin Owens could have competed with Mahal for US title, you know, who cares? But why why are you pushing uh, Mahal to India and WWE to India and 
quickly elevating Mahal to WWE Champion, moving to US Champion, make fun of it, whatever. But you are doing it to the main title in the company and this is just... Mm, and he just, and he won his first attempt and he did not really deserve it and it was kind of interference and it's just so much he's out of nowhere don't know i just how long he's gonna hold the title will it be for a long time or will be switched the next uh, next possible time who is gonna be the next champion hopefully not orton because then it's gonna be to infinity Orton Mahal, Orton Mahal. I just... <laughs> if you look into this pay-per-view, who can win the title from Who deserved it? Apart from AJ Styles, apart from... Who else? Fandango, maybe. Yes. I'm joking. But there really are not that many title worth people in there. So probably Orton was the most worthy of them. That's why he was a champion, not Mahal for sure. Yeah, we'll see where, where this will go, but I don't see it going in the right direction in any way they can twist it, in any way they can serve it. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for Backlash. Lackluster, not really super duper entertaining. Bad decisions, bad match endings. And really just two matches that worth your time. Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. And yeah, maybe three. Maybe Sh Nakamura and Ziggler worth it. And tag teams worth it for sure. Most entertaining for sure tag team was. Bye.